vlog two. Hello everyone. I'm going to go through my mandatory kit list for the 50 miler. So, printed it out because there's quite a few items. Starting with the... Bear in mind this is mandatory, so this, as a minimum we have to carry this. A water bottle or bladder. What I did, I got myself a Solomon pack with two um, 500ml bottles and I've all, also got another one so I've got three of those and they, uh, where's the, where does it go, they slide in here like so, clip, mm, he says, clip over and it uh, goes on your pack. It's the biggest one I could get, and it's got a pocket at the top. So that's number one, mandatory kit list. Be gone. Second one is a cup. So it's, um, they're trying to reduce rubbish and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. So you have to carry a cup. So I found this um, little um, cup. How do you get the thing open? Mm. Ah, here we go. Fairly cheap. Little cup, have a drink when you get to an aid station. Once you finish a bit, shove it all back up through. Ooh. The cup. That's called Light My Fire. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, a whistle. Here we go. I have a whistle. Got that online. Oh, it does work. Whistle. Compass. So, what I did was... Um, I was a bit stingy here and I've got myself, can you see that? A tiny little compass. <laughs> so technically it is a compass, but how effective it is, I just don't know. But uh, I will probably borrow my friend's proper one um, nearer the time, just in case. But still, compass, mandatory. Um, waterproof map cases. So for the event, um, you can download a file and attach it to your Garmin, but you also have to carry all the maps, fair enough. So I bought this thing, I shall print them all out and put them in here. Maybe I'll carry it around my neck, who knows. That um, waterproof, waterproof tap, here we go, here we go. This is where it gets a bit expensive. You needed a waterproof top with a hood and tapered seams. So, went on the line, did some reviews. Got this little bad boy. I'm quite looking forward to wearing this, actually. Very light. I went for something that weighed like 100 grams. I'll go through it in detail why I bought it and where I bought it in future. So, waterproof jacket, tapered seams, and a hood. Windproof trousers. Same make, again. Really lightweight. Um, they have to have... What do they have to have? Waterproof or windproof, right? Seems ticks that box. Long sleeve top or warmer layer. Nike come into this. This is a warm running top layer, which I have to carry, but I think it's gonna be hot, so it's gonna be a bit annoying, but still quite nice. I have, what's up next? Fully charged mobile phone. Well, that's what I'm recording on, so I'll take that. Trouble is the battery goes down, so I need to work on that a bit. Um, gloves, here we go. Where are the gloves? Mm, not sure where the other one is. I got myself a pair of Solomon running gloves for the event. Seem okay, quite tight, but takes that box. A buff or hat. Got myself a cap. Perfect. Quite looking forward to that. Might keep that on. What have we got next? Ooh. Emergency food. So what I did was, get rid of that. I um, happened to be shopping in Lidl the other day and they had these science and sport gels, different flavors. This is an apple flavor, orange, black currant. So I thought, do you know what? I'll just buy a load of gels. I know it's gonna have this. I've never used gels before, and they taste awful, absolute shite. But 
they seem to be effective and I will use them for the event. I'm not really into gels per se, but everyone raves about them. So I'll give them a go and I'll give them a review after the event and see how, what it did. So got three flavors, those. I also got some sort of electrolyte tablets, um, SIS ones again, berry flavor. To be fair, I've, have, I've been having these recently in the gym. Quite nice, I'm not gonna lie, I don't mind these. So we'll see what they're like. They're not mandatory, but they are um, are needed. Head torch. So where's that bloody head torch gone? Here we go. I got a black diamond head torch. Quite a nice little night little number. Bright. Um, yeah, seems good. Another one that have to carry. Emergency foil blanket try to get the uh, smallest one I could find but that is it another one what else have we got next sunblock here we go I've decided to go with the kids version because I thought kids being younger probably better protection 50 plus very high so gone it's 50 mils so this should be fine for the day I'm quite happy with that I've tried it recently works quite well I also do you know what? Spray's quite handy too. So I've got myself a 75ml over makeup super UV 50 plus. To be fair, I'm not wearing makeup, but actually recommend. Do like this. Be gone with that. Paper maps of the course, I will print them out. Also, a few things that I've added myself. So that's all the mandatory stuff. Compass, blah, 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 yes. However, getting on to the important things. I am taking Body Glide. So I'm gonna put this on before the event because just off a bit of chafing, you do get chafing. Um, and I'm also bought this little one to carry in my pack. So I'm gonna carry the small one in my backpack. Tiger Balm. I always seem to get issues with my knee and this was the absolute godsend on the coast path. Game changer. Oh, smells incredible. Um, so I bought some more of that. I haven't got much left, but brilliant. Highly recommend. I'm taking that in my pack. Some blister pastas because 50 miles, I'm sure. I don't touch wood. I don't normally get blisters, but I'm probably going to get some after the 27 mile mark. So I'm, I've got some of these. going to carry these in the pack, in the Solomon pack socks i'm going to change my socks i think i'm going with three changes so i've got um these sort of compression running socks i've got two of those so i'm going to start with these i think um and then swap them i need to work it out at what stations but swap them three times i've got my uh just simple nike running shorts Good shorts actually these are they have a, another layer inside that also just stop help stop um the chafing a bit got two pairs of them taking to the event um i'll be wearing one obviously some tights now i like running in tights i know other people don't but still um these are nike ones again these are some older ones depending on the weather i might i'm actually going to start in the morning wearing tights and then if I get too hot, I can always take them off, but you don't get so much chafing and if you're running through fields and stuff, you get stung, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to take two pairs just in case. And yeah, got some tights. I'm going to take a few safety pins. They will be, I'll probably carry a few in my pack, but I'm just going to take them to the event because I need them. Next thing shoes i'm going to the event wearing hocker speedboat twos these are um proper trail shoes as you can see it's a good bit of tread on those actually i haven't worn them that much i've only recently got them maybe three no two and a half three weeks ago i'd say and i've probably done i don't know 40 miles in them 50 miles good shoe they're quite i've got narrow feet and they're a bit tight but i'll do a review in due course but i'm taking these um 
I'm going to wear them as my primary shoe unless unless they hurt. So if it comes to a point where I've run 30 miles and I'm, I just I just want a different shoe, out will be those and in will be these. These are hover. These are I think these are the best trainers. I know other one else probably doesn't rave about them, but they're fairly cheap. They've got a decent bit of tread. I wear them all the time in the countryside near me, running, everywhere. They're my go-to shoe in the gym, you name it, they're light. So this is what I'm gonna wear if the other shoes play up, if the uh, speedboats play up. So I'm gonna take those, and that's my two pairs of trainers I'm taking for the event. Finally, oh, I know also, here we go, um, a vest. I've been wearing this, so um, I'm gonna wear a vest as my main top and then just put a put a coat the um, raincoat thing on to stop the wind if I have to but this is my uh, go-to running vest for the event under armor finally these babies I have got um, some lucky running poles oh here we go I don't know if you can see that let me do this absolute We're back, game changer. Um, and I'm probably gonna run with them. I have tried running with them. And they fold up really neatly into a little thing like that, go into a little pack. Brilliant, really light. Um, these are 125 centimeters, but love them. Absolute game changer. When I ran the coast path, walk the coast path, sorry. I, um, I use poles, but I use cheap poles and what I know now is it makes such a difference and you pay, it pays just to get a light, really light pole and you can run with these, walk these. And if I get fed up them, say I'm doing loads of flat for miles, shove them in the back of the pack and you can cruise. But in some respects, they're so light, it's easiest to run them. That there is my final item. And my um, I don't have any running sunglasses, so I run with these all the time, these trusty steeds, the old Ray-Bans, absolutely buggered, but they are the best. I, I do enjoy them. And that, my friends, is the kit I'm taking to the... Forgot, I can't believe it. The most important item on my list, not their list, is a Garmin watch or a watch to be able to track the event. I'm going for a Garmin. This is a Phoenix, what was it, a Phoenix 6X Pro. Unbelievable. And I've already downloaded the GPX file. I don't know if you can see that. It's already there. Incredible. This is the most important item. Um, it'll tell me where to go and yeah, I can't believe I missed it. Poor little Garmin. That's 